Run it back, run it back. Okay, okay. Which is gonna be even more important But in this matchup to, no? Pacific Mac gonna have to try and break If it's anyone to do it If it's anyone to do it It is gonna be Ubek Mania GT mm -hmm. uh, Gotta consider the history between these two teams as well, right? In APAC um, Not necessarily the best run for Pacific Mac to say the least no? uh, But let's take a look at the other side of the roster Dito, Ubek Mania Let's see the team intro And and pick. Let's jump straight into that sneak for this best of three header. Oh, I forgot about Mexico. <laughs> oh, Ankara. Well, yeah, Mexico. Uh, it seems like we're gonna go for Eagle Eye for our Ooh. map three. No, a bit of a surprise here. Um, but yeah, Ankara. Uh, something we expected. Some base. Ubek gonna be taking that on uh, for the map pool. And Eagle Eye for our third map. Should we get into that sneak? I'm gonna jump straight into predictions and ask you, sneak. What do you think is gonna happen here? gonna be a 2-1 I think it's 2-1 mm. somewhere and this is map 3 100% map 3 100% yeah. so I saw it unless like you know we see Pacific Mac that pop off the sub base we've seen that perform especially mm. when Revenge is on uh, on that map but I really want to see that Eagle Eye man me too. I really want to see that Eagle Eye, especially, you know, fully knowing that Ubik Maniac has added that to their arsenal mm -hmm. as of recent. And uh, they got obviously beat one of the best Eagle Eye teams uh, dito sa group stage natin in the name of SCJ. So it's going to be a battle of levels here for the side of Ubek. So Ubek, I think the objective here is try to get into Eagle Eye, but if you can finish it off uh, in uh, map 1 or 2, or maybe even to 2 0, that would be very nice para sa kanila dito, at least for their egos na. Oh yeah, we can beat Mafia just like this. Ooh, if they can, that's a big if. Dito, sneaky, no. And one thing I want to talk about too on the uh, roster side of things, Dito, because of the players of Ubek having, well, a, a significantly less experience competitively at least compared to uh, Pacific Mafia. No, you gotta consider as well that mental composure, right? I mean, young players they they, they have tendency sometimes to overheat, especially super mechanically gifted players. I'm talking about KLB, KLP, Alloy as well, right? I mean, guys to be not that they've already have a ton of international or a uh, decent amount of international success and they've proven themselves as one of the uh, at least top three, top five teams in the Philippines, no? Um, yes, they have the gift, but do they have that mental composure that Pacific Magda has? It's something that really only comes with experience, and it's undoubtedly more uh, favored for the side of Pacific Magda. But let's take a look at the teams. Um, uh, player comes Dito, no? Both teams looking absolutely primed and ready as we head into the first map of the game. Game Naga Dito Sneak PM Pacific Magda on the blacklist side. Lubek Maniac on the GR side of things as we head into an LA battle again. Yeah, KLP gets his head taken off to start the round. Okay, Matt. Matt is already saying that, yep, this is not going to be easy for Ubik Maniac whatsoever. This is an entirely different beast that you're going up against, especially fully knowing uh, how often these two teams actually scrim. So mm -hmm. I feel like they kind of have a feel for uh, what is going to be the, the game, Dita Sankar, what type of game they want to play. Ubek Maniac wants to speak from the Donald's B side, but Justin Ooh. jumping down from Catwalk A just in time. No pun intended, better no. NCJJ. Natira na lang dito. Right side stairs gonna be occupied. JJ Bumba na nga, pero naspatan aga dito the NBA. And wow. a roaring start para sa Pacific Mafia. Yeah, huge, huge passing from Justin getting a couple of kills. They're opening up the sights. And NBA to get a couple as well. Look at that. And ang ganda, ang ganda ng, pag, ng pagpasok ng Pacific Mafia doon. No? Those two kills from Justin, absolutely crucial to taking control that sight. And uh, Ubek Maniac just didn't have enough time to react. No, didn't have enough uh, map control to adjust accordingly. And again, we reset to that LA position. But Sir Revenge, medyo lumipat siya ng position. No? Uh, that sniper, this time just anchoring in uh, looking for uh, some stragglers. 
Mark, 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 mark. More of the same dito. Some, some control being established by Justin again, but Ubek giving Justin that space that he needs. Mm-hmm. So it's not like before, no? Where NBA was just swinging for the hills. Dito sa may market door. Instead, they're gonna hold a bit far back, no? I think like they know na, or at least they read na Ubek may after. Okay, they're gonna be, probably try to see if they can get one player down mm-hmm. with an aggressive peak from the hotel side, pero yeah, di mo na nagpahita yung Pacific back to Tito. They're just gonna go back to the A side. They have catwalk A control, so tamang execute na nandito sa A. Yeah, everyone moving towards that LA position. May double stack from Webeck Maniac. Venge retrieving that sniper. Yung mga lineups pa nga dito, no? To execute in the works. Push coming through. That's JJ getting a couple, and it's really Justin for the trade, pero no, and dito na rin. So my site now going to be taking down Justin, Revenge going to be entering the sights as they try to take control of the ass dito sa my A site, Revenge. Sniper di pa rin tumatama, but the pistol comes out, gets a couple of kills, on to my exit. One minute lema- remaining, at two beaten lang tayo dito, sneak to C4 still in the hands of Zeke dito, unable to get it down. But the rotate coming in, Zeke actually, pupunta na may mid dito, trying to cut off the rotation from KLB, pero KLB catches its... Fully aware, that's the bomb in the middle as well. And Revenge is going to have to take on this tall task. A 1v2, wala control ng bomba. You know what? Revenge. The only one left alive. Good defense. Got the C4 down. KLB and si Loy na lang natitira dito. And I like yung ginagawa dito ng UM. No? Yeah, just let him plant. Dito sa A-side. Let's just play the two-band game instead. We don't want to give itong si Revenge any chance whatsoever to get back into this round. So... Oui. Tama plant now. Oh, it's gonna be planted for a entrance actually. So by the Shamoma instead, he's gonna go aggressive Ooh. here. Oh, nice swing out. Gets one tap onto Loy. Beautiful sniper play revenge. Unpredictable and mm-hmm. still looking to take down KLBD. Tono plays around the wall and with the pistol wins the round. PM an explosive two rounds. Dude, what a hot by Venge, a hard jump to make, but he makes it anyways. Grabe Man, that yun. first quick scope was crazy. Di mo grabe know. naman yun. <laughs> Revenge, simula pa lang. Ganito na siya agad. And he already knows. I like this though. Kali sa Makta. I feel like UM is like, alright, they're taking us very seriously. Dito sa game natin. And we like this. And we're gonna have to lock it in. We're gonna yeah. have to lock in heavy. Dito sa laruan natin. And try and see if we can gain a round. But Pacific Pacta so far, man. Two BL rounds already on the board. And Ubek Maniac, a team that kind of emphasizes itong kanilang GR side, is wanting a round back. So maybe we might see an aggressive play or two. Dito sa mapa natin to try and get something going. Justin gets naded. Mm. So CA down to half HP. So that's going to help a bit. But Pacific Pacta, they're still playing very, very far back. Mm, Justin. Always contest, uh, always having having free reign of CAD. Ito, no? Finally getting contested by Loy. Nade making it a little bit easier on the duel as well. So Justin, he's not control dito ng uh, palalimpa no? so my middle area. Still stuck in CA as a C4 deep in mid. Uh, yung LA control natin. Vents a little bit in favor of UM as KLP goes down. Revenge somehow finds a kill. That's the sniper we've been talking about. The one who clutched the last round. Still opening things up huge para dito sa Pacific Makta again. They're taking it slow. One minute left. Justin finally gets dealt with by Loy. Pero the hotel push coming on through. KLB gets spotted. It's a 4v4 Dito Sneak now with one minute left. What is Pacific Makta going to do? Mm. Yeah, they're still going to sit around. Pero that's already a really good kill, no? For Pacific Makta taking out KLP early. Obviously, KLP still zero frags in the game. Has yet to hit the shot Ooh. with the sniper. Pero KLB... Getting the Aldrin. Nice oh, Loy! Finds what a timing! As well, that's what the C4 the getting pivoted towards RS now. He's an anchor dito. That's no. NBA gets spotted. And the pistol Woo. from Loy is just huge. That's two kills for the newcomer. There's Revenge, the only one left standing dito. No, can he make some magic happen again with 19 seconds on the clock? Kaya niyo pong mag-tanim ng bomba dito, no? JJ coming in. Is a little bit far off, so again, revenge on the same angle. This time coming through from the entrance. The A shot connects mm. on the pistol. JJ gets dealt with per 1v3. No flash do come out from down under the sights. 27 seconds remaining. Kaya kanila push nila dito, but revenge gonna have to look at so many angles. This time, no magic for the PM sniper KLB. Deals with him. That's Ubek Mania finally on the board. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Kung Ubek Maniac, right? Is to keep the sights really hard back. 
And if you have a player like Loy, man, you can just take out two players at the same time. Good positioning, galing sa kadalito. First in towards second mid, mm-hmm. and then in towards that battery side. And Obek Maniac finally get around on the board. But we have yet to see a hit galing dito kay KLP, right? We need this yep. guy alive. Yeah. This Ankar. We need someone to go head-to-head with Revenge. Because his man is already six. Six yeah. up in terms of the kills. So, so far so good. Paso Ubek Maniac. And what is Pacific Nakta going to react with? Maybe just a good old execute on towards A site. But mm-hmm. JJ. JJ might want to step back these events. But I think he's just playing the off angle right at the entrance. And he's going to try and see if he can spray them down. But the NBA is going to pass up the events. And there are still some players that are in top A. Kano, Ooh. can he get any damage going? Bulag na bulag yung mga players ng Pacific Mac. Dito sa baba, he's trying to play delay as much as possible here. Pero nakakaikot na ang mga ibang Ubek players. Yung iba, gonna go the long way around this time. LA is gonna be taken. CA gonna be ignored this time. And Ubek, I feel like retake mode sila ngayon. They're not gonna pour another player on site. They'd rather just play together here. Oh, okay, Ubek Mania, gonna go for a pinch dito. No, two from the exit, two from the entrance dito, no? considering going to Vents dito with KLP leading the charge, but Justin gets spotted KLP finally hits the shot on revenge it's a trade of kills as Loy finds one Aldrin does as well, pero Aldrin with the hold on this post plant, leaves Loy all alone, coming in from up gets destroyed by Aldrin, the 3k for him, and the third round para dito sa Pacific Magda Grabe. it's like setups versus setups here it's a Pacific Magda, and Pacific Magda just playing standard angles on the site having everything covered from long up until exit dito Ubek Maniac trying to gain their own execute dito sa site natin and unfortunately it didn't work out in their favor Pacific Mapta so far with the upper hand in Ankara dito sa BL side and they're having a hard time itong Ubek Maniac no? for granted they do got some good def- they did get some good defenses dito sa B site uh, with uh, Loy kind of popping off with the AK pero I think Pacific Pacta has realized the weakness of Ubek Maniac, which is, you know, if they take down CJ, then that's a 4v5 in A side, and they just go for the straight up execute. So, I yeah. think that then if that's going to work once again in this round. Yeah, that's true. Jerry, his position in the last round was absolutely crucial in keeping control of that A side, no? And Pacific Pacta just went for a full on push. Very standard guy, execute nila nun, no? It worked out wonderfully. Ubek Maniac, this time, going to have to try something else, a lot more standard. Defense dito, no? Lloyd pushing up. Justin again. So the CA position. Waiting for that straggler. But uh, sobrang disciplined ng uh, flank dito ni Justin, no? One other play, another player actually supporting him now. That's Aldrin. Looking to find one of these players becoming aggressive from Ubek Maniac. But again, both teams looking very, very disciplined. And Revenge looking to put more numbers on the board as Pacific Mata already have so many. But... Uh, slowly making their way towards this LA position with 54 seconds left. Lineups, ginagamit na dito. Loy gets smoked off for now. It's still a guessing game for Ubek Maniac. Saan nga ba pupunta dito ang Pacific Magta? They have a bit of an idea that mid is out of their control. Rotate coming on through. No. Galing sa taas. JJ gets Ooh. dealt with as Aldrin gets destroyed. Pero no. From up top, take keeps control of this A site. 30 seconds left. Kailangan ba push dito ng Pacific Magta? No Ooh. still in control. Lloyd finally makes his way in. That's 29 seconds. CYK the only one mm. left standing but not for long. What a hold mo lang, I know. And Ubek Maniac back on the board. 2-3. to three. Grabe, nakita mo kung gano'ng kabilis tumakbo itong si Loy papunta sa A-site as soon as JJ <laughs> went down. And I like yung patience galing dito kay Kono, right? He already got one kill hiding lang dito sa metal box Ooh. waiting for his teammate. And speaking of Loy, gets itong si CYK and UM getting aggressive this time, Ito getting na. risky sa second mid. <laughs> Pinapakitaan na dito ang Pacific Makta ng kanilang aggression. And this is what it's about. Ubek Maniac, just like how I said, such a similar team to Pacific Makta. They can play so many styles. Especially with the players that they have. JJ, Nandi to high mid, will okay. not get Justin crossing. Justin, di pangash mababawasa na kahit isang health dito. And Uy. the rest of them just try to get to the side. Ayan na pinapasa oh. na na Ubek Mania. Hinagis na lahat. Smoke, flash, nade. And they are stuck to RS. Yeah. That's two players dito. That's Justin. Holding on to the C4, this is the no, I mean, Ubek have completed the where they are. NBA gonna get the trade as no finds Justin. Magisan na lang dito, si NBA. At least, makakapunta dito ng site. No plays around, exit, but Loy is ready. Alam na nila eh, alam na lang Ubek Maniac yung tendency dito ng Pacific Magta to play that exit angle the moment they take control of the site. So ngayon, handa-handa na Ubek come to play 3-3 on the score. Yeah. 
This is what I want, man. This is what I want. <laughs> this is this is prime time TV. Mm -hmm. Prime time crossfire TV, dito pare. Ubek and Pacific Mac are going neck and neck in this game. So what we thought was gonna be a good first half, but as a Pacific Mac, we're, we're probably just gonna roll on over. Ubek Maniac is not the type of team to let that happen. And yeah, still the same old setup para sa kanila dito. Just making sure they have CA control and. Si NBA na bahala to open things up. Dito sa A site natin. No one's gonna go vent this time. Mm. But they're still trying to look at it. Feeling ko nagta-time delay lang sila dito. Waiting for either itong si uh, JJ or si Kano to maybe roll forward. But now, Ubek Nini actually being very disciplined. JJ, that's a lot of vent. Does get si NBA. Does get si Aldrin. Ooh. Justin finally gets the trade going. Justin gusto umakit dito sa top A. Pero si Kano harap na harap na nga ng mga players na pumusta or pum gusto pumunta dito sa top A Nade's gonna go through oh. and ayan na naman it's the same old thing para sa Ubek Maniac JJ dies Kano he gets one and then he hides a metal box and then the rest Rotate. of Ubek come to save him man napakaganda ng rotation dito ng Ubek Maniac oh. and syempre napakaganda ng holds ni Kano consistently holding on to that anchor sa my A site and Pacific Makta, they haven't found a way to deal with this defense. Wala kay Kano, napakaganda. And so far, Pacific Makta has hit a bit of a slowdown. A bit of a stop. As if, a bit of a stoppage dito sa kanilang aggression, no? With Justin having to play a little bit more defensively kanina, no? Holding on to the C4, this time back to the default push into C8. That mid control has been so important para dito sa Pacific Makta. JJ again, playing around vents. Uy! In timing, the bench gonna have to get this, gonna have to shut down JJ if they want to take control of this A site again. And it's a battle of patience, Dito. No? Eh, more often than not, Pacific Magda execute at the 59 second mark. It seems like that's gonna be the case again, Dito. Sneak no LA control in their hands. But then still is the big question mark. May tao ba sa vents? Yung tinatang dito ng Pacific Magda. I think Revenge Ooh. spotting it. JJ <laughs> taking down Revenge, but they know exactly where he is. Kano in top A. He's the first okay. one down. JJ okay. spotted a room. No amount of delay is going to stop that. But JJ now one in the lower. It's a 2v3. Aldrin at etong si Aldrin stuck in a 2v3 on the A side. And look at Ubek Pinyak. Immediate CA control lang kinuha nila dito. Okay. They want Pacific Factor to be uncomfortable. Oh. And ZYK had his back turn. Hindi niya alam. Napapasok na pala yung Upek Maniac from the entrance pistol. inside. KLP with the pistol. Okay. ZYK Aldrin getting two. ZYK oh. can he get the last one? Pero pinistol na lang dito ni Loy. Grabe. Five <laughs> and three. But that was too close for comfort para sa Ubek. But still, a round win and a two-point lead. Grabe. Loy closing it off. Down to the last man pa rin dito. Napakalapit pa rin. Sneak kahit sabihin natin. It was a bit touch and go para sa Ubek Maniac to, no? down to the clutch and Lloyd delivers para sa kanila no? what setup is gonna be the difference or what is the different setup this time for Ubek I, I dare say they don't need to change anything because the, the hold in yeah. A has been so good from Kano from JJ again and JJ I think gotta get credit for buying so much space no? No, getting a couple of kills was so important for UM to establish that CA control again and JJ again considering to recontest, oh. but MBA ang ganda naman ng peak na yon. Shuts down JJ Kano this time. Gonna be spamming through the flash. Gets chipped down to half until Aldrin takes him down. Uy, what an angle coming through mula sa 2F. But KLP doesn't spot anyone. Just waiting for the C4 to get planted. Loy coming through from exit. Dashing, dodging away at the flash. Okay, Loy gets one. ZYK gonna get the trade, but ZYK gets another. The double kill for the hold leaves KLP in a solo task to get his C4 defused and he's not gonna be taking down Aldrin because he didn't see it my corner and Pacific Magta back on the board 4 to 5 to tie Dita Sneak Grabe. I mean, this is the match that I can't help but smile because both of these <laughs> teams know. are like this is this is like a round 12 boxing match para, and both of them are just hitting each other at this point point. Mm. and I like yung ginawa dito Pacific Magta right? alam nila si Kano will play that delay dito sa metal And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's one of the things that you can use utility. Very important thing pag dating sa laruan ng crossfire. And both teams actually, you know, they use that a lot. That's for sure. Yeah. I think yung Ubek Maniac and Pacific Mac is one of the higher, you know, SR teams. If you guys don't know mm -hmm. SR, that smokes per round. So, yeah, lots of use 
from uh, those utilities, especially to start the round, is to block off the vision from the players. And so far, KLP, not as explosive as per usual, no? But the other players are actually picking up the pace, especially itong si Loy. Mm. The hype is real. Yep. This time, Loy gonna have to leave, lead the charge dito sa ating blacklist side. Remember, Ubik Maniac running away with a one-round lead after that half change. And an uh, interesting approach coming through from Ubek, no? They're gonna pivot from cat walk towards, uh, from cat A rather, papunta sa my middle area. There's three people here with Kano on the C4. DYK the only one standing in their way. Coming in from RS. Uh, they could just flood DYK at this point, and DYK won't be able to do much about it. And there you go. DYK finally going down a single pick, mula kay Kano. And what is specific Magna going to do? Are they going to send one player pa balik sa my RS? Or are they going to risk it and just leave two players in each side dito, Sneak? Yeah, probably just revenge playing the long angle. Watching that high mid position. Mm. ZYK dying at the start of the round on GR side. That's a common sight to see. <laughs> but 45 seconds left on the clock. Not much time for Ubek to execute. And they have to execute two players. Very nice angle. Gotta get a bridge. But he gets off of it. Unfortunately, KLB Ooh. does get spotted by Aldrin here. JJ, JJ coming in from mid. Revenge with a nice shot on JJ. Aldrin stopping it on si KLB. Na pumasok dito sa B side. Pero makakapasok pa sila. Yes, they can. Miss shot yeah. from Revenge. They get the C4 down. Half HP on some of the players. Pero Revenge low na rin dito. Justin, very nice idea. Taking that hotel position. Para meron silang two-prong attack. Pabalik dito sa B side. Ang tanong. Can they hit the shots against the players? That's true. 3v3 tayo dito. No, Revenge still on that sniper. Have been able to find a, uh, a rifle and Justin finds one. But the corner KLB lurks. Mm. Gets a couple of kills and Revenge unable to hit the shot. And Kano to close it off. 6-4. to four. Ubek Maniac starting to make lead dito sneaky. No? I mean, it's too early to say. But two rounds is two rounds. Mm -hmm. Two rounds is two rounds indeed. And really good defense though. Galing dun kay uh, Ubek. I, I like yung two setup nila dun sa ilalim ng B site. One on yes. Donald's B, one in the box corner. And just making sure now, despite not having hotel control, they're gonna have that lockdown. And uh, Kano with a very reliable defense on site. You can just rely on him now. Yeah, he can probably have RS covered oh, no. on overextend. But as ZYK, oh. you have to expect this. ZYK gonna get KLB. KLB is gonna go down as well. Loy will get si Justin, but ZYK gets away in time. And you have to expect this kung kalaban yung Pacific Makta. ZYK always looking for opportunities to the GR side to further the numbers ng Makta. And that they have 4v3 na ngayon. No, they take two players down and ZYK finds Kano as well. They have full control of vents, which is why Ubek couldn't really push up into that site. At ngayon, Loy and JJ, the only two left standing para kay Ubek. And Loy actually gets taken down by MBA just in the nick of time. No magro-rotate na sila. No, JJ gonna have to try and contest and find a couple of kills before moving on to the next part of the map. But there's three people in front of him. Nice swing out. JJ a 2v1. And unable to close it out. MBA just cleaner on the shots in Pacific. Makta 5-6 to six para dito. Yeah, and I think yung gustong gawin sana dun na Ubik Maniac, right? Was to go for a straight-up A execute, just a fast setup. Yeah. But then, just like how I said it, man, you have to expect every single round na magahanap ng opportunity itong si ZYK para humarap dito sa kalaban looking for that 5v4 opportunity. And because nakuha nga dito ng Pacific Makta itong CA, that allows the Vents player to go forward as well with a lot more confidence. And yep. that's why NBA could just pop out of Vents with the help of his homie. And 5-6... to six, Makta with an immediate answer sa last round dito na Ubek Mania. Yeah, Pacific Makta, immense LA control dito. No? Both on uh, the VL side and the GR side ngayon. He'll be just around the corner. A bit of an aggressive angle mula dito kay Revenge. Smoke does come out just to bait, uh, bait out a little bit of movement mula kay KLB. Pero he's not biting the mind games at full play dito. Is he actually getting chipped down to very low HP? Hanging on to the sniper. So gonna have to play conservatively but Revenge doesn't have to. And if he just waits a little bit longer, KLB might try to push up against this double doors of market. Ay, na -uti -uti. Uy, but the timing could get the better of Revenge Tito. Uh, but KLB is gonna get taken Ooh. down. Revenge. Very nice shots as KLB finally goes down. A 4v5. Pistol comes out. Re-establish that RS control. Really well done. Para kay Revenge. Yeah. Pretty good forward play. And this is where uh, Makta gets a lot more confident as a team, no? Where Revenge starting to hit the shots, starting to get those aggressive pickoffs. 
And RS is going to be occupied by Aldrin. Aldrin spotting Sigano. What the headshot going to get Aldrin? I'm telling you, man, those stats are just clickbait. This guy is really good when he is on. Pero Aldrin will get taken down by KLP. KLP hitting the shot. Oh, okay. the quick scope by Revenge! Okay. He got blindsided by that AWM, pare. And ZYK, what can you do? NBA <laughs> gets one tap by JJ. JJ, he did get a flavor. He did get a taste of that last round. The one tap yeah, <laughs> with the AK. ZYK na lang natitira. Aljon with the sniper. Anong magagawa mo dito? 25 seconds. Meron pang tatlong tao na nasa loob ng B-side. Si Loy nasa tower. And he spots him. He's a dead man. 7-5. to five. Ubik Maniac, they keep it at and this is what we're talking about, Ubek Maniac. When it comes to rifling, it's one of the best teams in the world, talaga. No? The duo is just absolutely wonderful para dito. So Ubek, despite the fact that they started off with a man deficit because of revenge aggressive play, no, they still came out on top. And that again, second shot by KLP, man. It's just crazy. <laughs> she was crazy, bro. It's crazy. Back to the site as well, taking control of the entire site and then getting... The closure, leaving ZYK all alone. And this time, Ubek Maniac taking a page out of the Pacific Makta playbook. A lot of LA presence. Curiously enough, hindi nila kinokontrol yung CA so far, no? So, that could leave them prone to prone to a little bit of an aggressive push from Pacific Makta. But thankfully for them, hindi pa nagpo-push yung PM. It's a ton of utility getting dumped into LA, but the rotate coming on. They're hoping to bait PM to rotate towards that A position, pero... They're not biting. Just a standard default defense mm. from Pacific Makta. Yes, then this is where the similarities lie, no? Between yung dalawang teams na to. That's also yung usual na ginagawa na Pacific Makta dito sa A side, right? If they can't find anything, they're just gonna nade top A and yeah. go to the other side of the map. By the time na this game ends, you're gonna see like UM? That might mean like Ubek Makta pare. In all mm. honesty. <laughs> but, ayun nga. That's where the similarities lie para sa kanila dito. But, you know, UM, a whole lot more younger, a whole lot more chipper. Pagdating dito sa kanilang laruan, we already saw it with KLP earlier with that yes. absolute banger of a quick scope. Pero kaya ba nilang i-execute itong B-side? Second mid is not in their control just yet. And they do get it slowly, no? There's one player at tunnel speed. Yeah, a lot of players here in hotel. Four of them to be exact. Just waiting for the perfect opportunity. Uy, teka lang, Pacific Makta. They leave two of their players back into B. Isa na grotate, pupunta sa may A-side dito, no? So hotel entrance, exit rather, gonna be the point of contest, revenge. Didn't find anyone yet, but JJ oh. on the swing out against Aldrin. Shuts down one of those defensive players. And revenge gets flashed on out. Loy gonna be quickly dismissing off end, but NBA keeps control of RS as KLB gets shut down too. 4v3 as the C4 goes down. Justin busts into the site as Loy goes, Loy goes down. 31 seconds left on the C4 timer. 2F uh, gets ZYK. Try and find any stragglers, JJ. We playing Spotted. in from inside of that site, and it's gonna be a battle of two or so JJ barely any utils still somehow finds ZYK. The swing out gets the better of him as JJ goes down. A two v one as MBY the only one left standing. Dito mm. and Kanok gonna be shutting him down. Ubek Maniac make the biggest lead of the series three rounds ahead. Grabe. And look at the execution. The B-take na yun, right? The, the straight up hotel push getting some more players, but then the layers, bro. The layers, mm -hmm. the second mid late push is where it was at. And that's why Revenge got caught. Deep to my batteries now. They were expecting like a five band push mm -hmm. from the hotel side. No. Yeah, three players were enough to push them out of that position. And that is exactly what Ubek wanted in that round. Grabe. It, even the macro is there. It's crazy. Para dito yeah. Ubek Mania. It's crazy. KLB. I'm telling you, man, that's, with how young this guy is, he's already a genius on that IGL position. Pero, titig na pa natin, Pacific Makta. It's not yet over, of course. It's not yet over until we see 10 on our screens. And they are not going to make it easy para sa Ubek Maniac at all. But being in this position already, in this game, you know, it instills confidence para sa Ubek that they can probably finish off itong Akara. Absolutely. And they're looking confident. It's the important for the Ubek Maniac. The player looking absolutely confident in their duels. Not phased by the fact that they're playing against Pacific Makta. Justin, uh, looking to uh, peek out of vents. The LA control, Pacific Makta. Look, a little bit more aggressive angles dito, no? Three players taking control of CA. Oi, the peek out from ZYK. Pass out Kano as it's MBA to get a kill. Aldrin swings out as well. Kano goes down. Justin, aggressive angle dito to my vents. 
JJ somewhat expects it, but timer ticking now. Justin he almost takes down JJ, but the duel just not enough, just not enough damage yet. Pero papasok dito from Kat A to the two of the players from Pacific Magda. UM have to decide soon what they're gonna do. Nade comes out, but JJ still in control. ZYK finally goes down, but he, there's an ever looming threat Mulatso Ventito as Justin might just push up. And the C4 finally making his way towards LAD. So Justin oh finally God. takes down KLB. That's the IGL gone. KLP oh. finds one shot. The quick scope into the pistol play. And the Ubik Mania still in the round mm. until the swing comes away from MDA. And that's the round PM 6 to 8. They strike back. Yeah, that goes back to the concept of CA control. No? If you have CA control, that allows oh, yeah. the bench players to play a lot more free. And Justin just had the field day. And as soon as he got down, because of that amazing shot, Galaga KLP. NBA is also an entry man, so he can mm -hmm. also go into that fence, trying to go for the aggressive play, and that he did. Eight to six, it's like how I said it, man. We yes. may be at this point para sa Ubek, but Magda is not going to make it easy. Kano, first one down. And ZYK pulling out the Oy. sniper this time. Pero ZYK spotted the bench. Pero bumabi agad si revenge. <laughs> I don't think they expected the bench to be in CA, pare. Yeah, the double sniper working out for the para sa Pacific Magda dito. Ooh. Barely misses that shot as KLB spots someone jumping across. And it's again. Ubik Maniac with a man disadvantage Dito. KLB taking control of uh, the, the middle area. Ever, ever so slowly Dito. No, they have to play around KLP on that sniper. In revenge. I want to see the angle that he's playing at Dito. Taking control of a site. C4 Dito slowly making his way back uh, to the hands of their teammates. JJ holding on to that. And it seems like they're going to go for a pivot up onto my B side Dito sneak. Yeah. Still have to be careful, no? Naman naman, Ubek. Players that they have very capable of things about 3v4s, especially when they find the right frags True. at the right time. And I love the way so, they're playing this as well. Yeah. Kailan parin maging careful, man. They have to play slightly far back. Dito's a B site. Revenge is gonna watch the cross. Rest of them are <gasps> just gonna make sure that A is secured. Pero hindi pala A yung pupuntahan dito na Ubek. They got the cross going. Revenge was still midway Ooh. in climbing. What? Dito's a 2F. And it's already so late in the round. Pacific back to trying to reposition. Pero nandun na yung Ubek sa kanilang mukha dito. Nahuli ni KLB. That's one of the players from Pacific back to down. Thins the herd to a 3v3 now. And take a look at this control pushing on through sa RS. Oh. I'm gonna have to take the, uh, all of the players. Dito Ubek already in the site now. It's a very standard defense on the post plant. JJ swings out again. Down from batteries. Flash is perfect. JJ finds wow. one. KLP as well. And they dismiss of that retake just like that. Ubek Maniac. Nine points on the board. Ubek Maniac catching the timing. The Pacific Magda were trying to reinforce this A site and that silence, that, that short silence that you dito, the oh. Ubek Maniac, right? Confused the rest oh, of the Magda squad. They thought that it was going to be an A execute because that's usually the strat that you want to go for. Yeah. If you are in like a 3v4, you just want to enter itong site, expect two players inside. But, you know, Ubek Maniac, they thought different. They just went into Tunnels B, risking even uh, risking even that no one is going to be in hotel. They kind of say, okay, hopefully no one's in hotel. We can get this B site. And they guessed right at that point, and Revenge just got caught climbing the ladder. Dito sa may 2F natin, and Ubek Maniac with the timing, just like how I said it, man. It's a 3v4, oh! but they still have to respect Ubek. But Revenge doing anything but that, getting KLB at the start <laughs> of the round. Yeah, I was about to point out that KLB scored the shots, but as I was thinking it, he just, he just got taken down Dito by the sniper. Seeing out coming through, Aldrin somehow still finds the kill in a 2v1. Try and reassess, reassert that control, but Ubek Maniac down to just KLB in a 1v5. That's not the sniper, then one swings out against him, but uh, yeah, he's gonna get taken down. Dito KLP down Pacific Magda, they're not done. Dito Sneak, yeah, I'm just like how I said it, they're not gonna make it easy for the side <laughs> of Ubek to uh win this Ankara map, considering map pick panaman to na Pacific Magda. Mm -hmm. And Revenge, obviously, getting more aggressive in the second mid. Natin, so I think they're going to have an additional body to at least watch at the big door. Natin. Ooh, a KLB, Loy, Revenge. Yeah. He's been doing that a lot, trying to get the smoke trick going. The thin part of the smoke where you do see those names. But KLB will get the CYK. Yeah. 
this time it's Pacific Makta down one man remember this is their round to lose trying to save yung score natin in favor of Ubek and Venge not finding anyone yet but if he decides to swing out against those two market players he's gonna be in a bit of trouble that's Loy on assist duty and so it's a really smart decision para dito to back off the Ubek Maniac look to reassess their choices and Pacific Makta becoming a little bit aggressive dito Venge spotting out a little bit of contact Loy pushing up now up against the big doors and it is the battle inside of mid Aldrin I think is the only player there or is it Revenge? I said it's Revenge slowly pushing up as well Revenge on the sniper remember that one option I kita dito but only a matter of time until someone budges until something gives and it's again a big pivot para sa Ubik Maniac but with two players deep up sa may RS pretty deep indeed But Oy. can they do anything? Oh, by Aldrin? I think I think Aldrin, bit of a mistiming on that uh, repeat parry. And uh, now, oh, Pacific Makta putting themselves in a bad situation, oh, having to go for a 3v5. Better NBA. Oh, oh my god, the ground is open. A bit curious for me how Pacific Makta approach uh, that BL side in particular you know, over and over again. They tried to uh, uh, they roll the dice in the LA. But they are because every time that I get a player, there's always another player right behind them. And Ubek Maniac, man. What? A freaking what a freaking game para sa nila. Yeah, and I'm talking about this that A side hold consistently so good para kay Ubek Maniac, no. And I gotta give credit for Curtis dude. It was Kano, it was JJ consistently holding on to the sights no matter what Pacific Makta was throwing at them. And I love it as well, not Loy. I mean, you talk about the difference between Lloyd's playstyle before he entered Ubek until now. And I love it that we get to see both sides of the coin, right? We still see Lloyd leading the charge as the aggressor para dito sa Ubek, especially on their BL side. But then also becoming a team player, no? Sometimes he does play uh, that second frag position as well for Ubek, uh, which is the new look para sa anya dito, but still with the same uh, aggressive playstyle. And I love it, Ubek. It, it seems like he's fitting like a glove dito sa roster na to, no? And of course, the level-headedness of the shot caller here, KLD, is what glues this entire squad together. And I'll, it's just so good to witness them performing at such a high level dito sa Angara. Yeah, and you gotta give credit where credit is due. No, I think the tanks did a really nice job of integrating it. Oh Shinori. yeah, I totally oh, yeah. didn't see the angle that um, he was gonna be a backup rifler, uh, considering he got a history there with matches. He was more of the entry, and uh, yeah, uh, him slotting in this backup. I had my doubts at first, not gonna. I was like, really, you just gonna not let him go loose in this about map and happen? But it seems like tanks. That's why he's the coach, and I'm not. I'm here on the broadcast, buddy. He knows more than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it worked out in their favor, and Ubek Maniac, uh, of course, para sa kanila dito. And uh, Justin, he's gonna do a little parkour, lead us to lockers, and uh, just gonna be sitting on top of that light, pare. Yeah. And the key thing to remember dito is Nikit Egalang Justin already finds Loy off the back of that nice position up above. The trade kill not gonna be there, but Justin down to very low HP, but the first kill already for dito sa Pacific Magta. Again, that GR side that you were highlighting dito sneak, already at full work for Pacific Magta. And Ubik Maniac, well, what are they going to do to adjust? Still have their sniper this time on KLP. Um, and one of the things that uh, I've come to notice para dito sa Ubik Maniac, that whenever they play sub base, they like playing that forklift there. You know? They like keeping control of that mid position. But this time, it's going to be hard to do with one of their players down. Loy gets taken away. And it's a bit of a slowdown compared to Ankara. No? Sub base. Definitely a, t a map that both teams are very comfortable at. Mm -hmm. nga, no? I mean, it's just very funny to start on ground that Loy just sent it. Dito sa lockers. <laughs> and I feel like he thought, okay, 100% Justin is not going to play yung light bulb. He does the ass. But he did. Unfortunate. You know, you know sometimes you have to guess, especially nasa start palan tayo ng game pare. And, uh, you know, the guess, it's a guess for a reason. You don't know whether it's true or not. Pero just in down to 1 HP though. Look at UM. They're gonna instantly adjust. They know na no HP na dito si Justin. They are a bit connected para sa Pacific map. There is the missile Oy. players, there is the shutter player as well. Guarding that position. Pero Justin still no, no, very dangerous. Pero KLB spots him out. He already knew that he was there. Yeah, Justin taking a bit of a risk there. This time not paying out, but it's still a 4v3 in favor of Pacific Maxa. Revenge still on the snipers. Aldrin finds down Kano. DYK chip down to one, but Aldrin still in the sights. 
denying the entirety of the squad dito ng Ube getting into it now it's KLB the only one left standing AK in hand 30 seconds left on the timer gonna have to take these duels one by one pero ang pinto ang ni Aldrin playing up against the pillars and Aldrin CYK taking down KLB Pacific Max the first round on the board that's it. That's what you have to think about, no? Yeah, you can take down to Justin. He does the lockers, but you still have to worry about Aldrin on site. And Aldrin, just like I said it, man, when the man is on point, he's a very dangerous man to deal with. But Justin missing the jump, actually. He does the LR, but he does have a chance to do it again. Because he uh, didn't push Ubek Mania for that machine room control. But yeah, a bit of a slow start to the so Ubek. Just wanting to see if they can feel out this uh, Pacific Makta defense at first. Yeah. Uh, at this point, I think you gotta wonder, Justin, kung, uh, kung iti-check na talaga <laughs> na Ubek Mayanyak mm -hmm. yung position mo. No? It's the three ta third time that he's doing that. Revenge. Ooh. First on the board, KLP gets shut down. That's the sniper out. Para sa Ubek Mayanyak. And high tail back to safety as Revenge mm. finds Kano somehow. What an angle. And that's the bomb as well. So Revenge has... A pretty good can be a bit of a struggle to recover from that. Ubek Maniac still don't have control of the bomb no, and they know that the revenge is looming around that area, just waiting for anyone to pick it up. Mm -hmm. So TV five, revenge already with two. And that's the dilemma no. Every time the revenge is gonna touch upon the uh, second mid angle now, then such a dangerous man. He knows. Yeah. What to pick he knows what to uh what to do in that position once you get that first one and he knows to be careful no since your awm doesn't have the best wall bank damage mm -hmm. you're kind of vulnerable to this m4 so he's just playing around it zyk is gonna get to klb revenge Ooh. will get to loy Again. and he doesn't get to jj but i think i'll just probably gonna swing the corner what? just gonna try to look for this last player but justin does get the trade in time 2-0 pacific map and this is what i was talking about in GR side, the Pacific Mafta in this map is one of the more solid ones in the country. Yeah. So UM has to figure that out. Yeah, and it's a stronghold and it's a bit of a question mark, talaga, and a bit of a guessing game where revenge is going to be. It's very hard to pinpoint the angle he's looking at. Because it's a lot of position here in revenge. By the time you found him, it's almost a certainty that there's no one player here for Ubek Maniac. So again, they go back to square one. Try and hunt down that sniper. Pivot away from it. Pero si Aldrin gonna get contested. Kano. JJ gonna be here. JJ gonna be trading out. Kano going down. That's Aldrin out no as well. On one for one. They're gonna go towards that A site where Revenge is at. But oh, TYK coming in from above. Gets one. Gets another. And that's two players left. Barry to Sobek Maniac with Revenge finally going down. But Pacific Magta, they still have control over RS. Oi, oh, take a long. Nades being chucked out as the C4 still. Not planted. KLB, imagine a a ton of oh lineup gosh. coming through, but there comes the C4. KLP mm. with a quick scope. ZYK go down. Luwag, and now luwag, it's a 2v2. Luwag. This is sneak. 1 HP left for KLB. KLP, the IGL, and the sniper. KLB going for the trade, but MBA cleaning it up. Pacific Makta, three rounds consecutively. Yeah, bit of a mistake from the Ubek Maniac side there. Na, nakuha na nga nila yung, CR, yung CR control. They do go down in the site. But they forgot that ZYK was still alive, man. He's the type mm -hmm. of guy to descend it through the smoke and risk it all. Yep. Para makuha sila ng A-side control. Pero ito na nga, Pacific Ooh. Mactal with the MR take. Face to face with danger. Oh! Justin gets two! Pero Loy does trade him in return. But Justin, he's kind of stuck here. Someone needs to bail him out. He does the lockers, but I think he's probably a dead man. Nades are gonna start to fly. And it's a 3v3 to start the round. Yeah. Uh, Justin, a valiant effort there. Gets a couple of kills, but unfortunately was stuck. Couldn't escape, couldn't leave the nades radius, so he just fell down. But there's one flank that's going on Coming through from Pacific, Makta. And Ubek Maniac, they have to commit to either a site or a full-on rotate. Otherwise, he's going to run into one flanking player. Should make that two now. That mid-control already in the hands of Pacific. And so looking at KLP, exactly. No push swing coming through. Oh. Revenge shuts down KLP. Pistol comes out. JJ goes down as well. And Revenge coming up huge again. Making a 3k for the sniper player Pacific Magda. This GR side is ruthless, Sneak. Yeah, what other sniper would hold that exact angle, buddy? <laughs> and uh, it probably would be KLP doing that exact same thing. But man, those two are going to go forward. They're going to look for the plane. This is the concept of the snipers. 
in the 2024 CFS season, you have to be the ego because you are the Ronaldo of the team, pare. <laughs> and you have to make the play happen by yourself, on your hands. A site attempted para sa side ng Ubek, pero gusto nilang bumalik na lang sa woods. They just want to scare the A site defense a bit here. Yeah. And Ubek and default back to their mid control dito. Bit of a push down into A, pero they're not actually committing yet, no? Just hoping to. Poke and prod oh as revenge God. will not allow that to happen. <laughs> KLP goes down. So, let's see what the human UAV can do. Needs a little one out Jail is still under the control of Pacific Mafta, and Ubek Maniac oh. is going to go for an A split. MVA is going to get it to JJ. Loy will get one in return, but still, you can feel the control of Pacific Mafta still clamped on to these sites. And Ubek Maniac, they seem to see that second mid is not going to be accessed here. It's so tough. So tough to get through. Woods Ooh. still in the hands. Dito on Pacific map. Loy somehow finds Justin. And they're going to pivot towards Woods. Dito sa may uh, luwag na sila. Executing towards A-side. Aldrin still above the box. Gets a couple of kills with ZYK's control. And Loy, the only one left standing. A 1v2 playing from up above. And Revenge pushing up. That's the sniper still alive and kicking. This time holding on to an AR. Coming up close, up oh, against the box, Loy, timing oh. is perfect, gets the headshot, and ZYK ah. does the same, a one for one, gonna get the C4 defuse, and Pacific mark the five rounds dito, sneak consecutively. Yeah, and Zik, he's probably laughing about that uh, that left side peak, galing dito kay Loy, <laughs> maybe Loy was expecting na nakababa na dito ZYK, but... And it started with revenge going down early, that's the key here for Ubek. Bought out revenge, take him out somehow, but MBA denies anyone getting taken down. He's the one to go down. No, Kanok, KLB, both take one apiece. Oh, Loy with the Pacific timing. Pacific Makta at 3v4, revenge going down early again. This could be another round for Pacific Makta to lose, but somehow ZYK recovers, gets Ooh, a couple of kills. What? And what is happening? Ubek Maniac back to square one with Kanok, one HP left. Nah, Aldon is on. That's for sure. Eight frags already para dito kay Aljun. Oh my god. In this map, 2v3. Gonna need another heroic round from one of these players, na Ubek Maniac. There is Aldrin on the A side. He is half HP. He does offenses. Oh, yeah. Does get a bit of a tag. Nade? Is it gonna hit? No, it wow. won't. See why Kena Bahala. Kano. In events. But I feel like they kind of expect him at this point. And Justin, what a very quick trade. Look at how fast the trades are on a Pacific factor, right? This is one of their strengths from the thing these sub base defense. That you know, one person is gonna get taken down, but the immediate reaction from Pacific Macta, you still have to expect that Kokai UMD. Yeah, and I love the way they were so aggressive as well, denying that LR control. So so good here for Pacific Macta. Even with revenge going down, no, this is all not phased. And the immediate adjustment, as you mentioned, so good. But just then, an uh, early aggressive peak. No trade coming through this time. As JJ, in a very good spot, holds on to the C4 position with KLB backing him up. This is a good start. Para dito. So, Ubek Maniac, no? Pacific Makta yet to find anything with revenge again. And Woods Control finally theirs for now. Yeah, this is a great start. Justin trying to go aggressive to Woods. Possibly wanting to eliminate the uh, the possibility of Ubek kind of mm. harassing at Tungsi Revenge with those M4s. So it's like how I said it, AWM doesn't have the best wall bang damage, so yeah. M4 is definitely going to win it out if he does miss a shot. But, I mean, 5 versus 4, Justin's gone, and, and that's a good start. That means uh, Pacific Pacta has to cover both Passage and LR with only one player. So mm. Ubek can mm. actually target the Dumpy site, but Revenge is still alive. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to point out Revenge just waiting in the perfect corner, denying that Woods exit. And that's exactly what he does. Takes down one of the players, Dito of Ubek. Now we're back to square one, a 4v4. But take a look at the health bars, Dito, the Pacific map. No? A lot of their players less than 50 HP. And Aldrin, the only one with full HP, Dito. But the position's still very, very good. They're still at perfect spots to trade each other out, which is the one thing that is very commendable for Dito, Pacific map. Ubek seems to have decided they're going to go to this A execute MBA in a deep corner with DYK Dito. But the peak out from DYK gets one. MBA, uh oh, doesn't get to find anyone with Loy swinging out like crazy. And it's a 2v4, 2v3 rather, with Revenge still on the sniper. Aldrin coming in with Revenge. Nades coming out. That's the pistol leading the charge. Loy, perfect on that flash. 
Azaldan can be able to trade out revenge the sniper, but it's a 2v1 KLB. Oh. Aldrin finds one. KLB next on the chopping block with time ticking away. 20 oh. seconds. Aldrin makes it work. The clutch is beautiful. And that's the seventh round for the Pacific Makta. I mean, revenge dying there is fine as long as Aldrin can make it. Tito's a missile. Oh. A lot more of a better fight for him here. And Aldrin wanting, wanting that redemption after week one performance. And he is definitely showing it. Especially here's a sub base 71 for the Pacific Bank. Lo is going to take down to Justin. They expect Oi. the MR push to be right then and here. NBA with a good spray. Oh. Does take down to Lo as well. KLB might be up next. And it, with the help of ZYK, they take him down. Ubek Maniac trying to fist fight their way into Machine Room. But they're still going to be able to get NBA with an immaculate hold of MR. And it's PM again to come out on top. They tried to brute force, no Ubek Maniac, but Pacific Magla, they were ready for it. They fought fire with fire, playing the low angles with MBA popping off there. I mean, it was two kills, but it, very impactful for MBA Dito. Ubek, well, the good thing is they have that C4 control, but it's again against Pacific Magla with revenge still up and kicking. So that's the sniper up, and they have a lot of control still. Playing together for the trade angles is key for Pacific Magla. And they've proven that they're a team that plays that to perfection. At Mula Salawag Dito are going to be coming in Kano. Holding on to the C4. Backed up by JJ. Oh, still a lot of worry for this Aldrin, no? But the moment the C4 does go down, they're going to have to re-position together. A 3v2. And I like the play here from uh, from Ubek. Ooh. It's going to be aggressive. JJ making that work. I think revenge. DYK in a duel, but Kano gets found out by Aldrin. So 30 seconds left. Nade comes out. The flash is perfect, but still has to be even better. Paradito on the post plant. Oh. Aldrin already on the C4. It's shaky. The one position is very crew. Very crucial for JJ, Ooh. but he's gonna have to play the time. 13 seconds. JJ's so much waiting to happen. He takes down Alden. Pistol comes out, but oh. JJ makes it work. The clutch. The MVP of the round. JJ finally put Ubek back on the board. That's what you need for Ubek. Someone to be the hero. And JJ was there at the right time. I was a bit skeptical, though, when they both played some forward positions here. But because of the plan being so open, Valentino you know, and JJ made it a lot easier for him to process and oh. separate those 1v1s. And Ubek Maniac now on arguably the easier side than Mapa and Subbase. But Pacific Mapa, they also have some tricks up their sleeve mm. when it comes to the BL side and Nung Mapa. Na to. Yeah. So UM, they, they're going to have to keep their toes just in case na, you know, PM wants to go for something frisky here. And alam mo na yan, ZYK entering vents. That's his favorite <laughs> spot. <laughs> think you're going to be able to spot out any info dito, no? So far, Ubek don't seem. Uh, too fan, too fond of contesting his favorite position. KLP down under. Kano as well. But he'd be expecting that push from ZYK, you know. Rightfully so. Flashes do come out Dito sa A execute. Seems like Pacific Marks are not taking any time at all. Justin gets taken down. KLP down from inside of the site. Still alive and kicking. ZYK finds one of the defenders. Dito, KLP still swings uh. out but doesn't find anyone. A 3v2. A Zubek Makta. Gonna have a sorry Ubek Makta to look Ubek Yeah, Maria. I said it earlier, man. Don't worry. <laughs> I know, I know. Nasta kin sa utak mo. Or revenge. That's that's not the that's not the place you can dance. He has to cross. Yeah. Oh, you you guys. That'd be the magical risky. numbers, pare. Okay. This is risky, bisky. Revenge has to stay. Oh, double luwag. Mm. Okay. Why not? Revenge. Oh my god, the smoke. The smoke trick, but oh. it's not Loy, MBA, it's all up to you, brother. Oh. And the scoop, man, <laughs> jump down, paring sa luwag. Grabe naman yun. Yeah. I mean, it's really hard to hit two targets flying at you at the same time. And Ubek Maniac, they make it work. Dito sa round natin, 3 and 7. Here we go, man. Yeah. I like the play from Pacific Map for there. No? The double luwag play. Not something that a lot of teams would expect, but... Uh... Ubek, uh, they just brute force. They played it smart. No, they played together. And it worked. It worked well enough. Put them back on the board. Dito, three sevens. Four rounds behind for Ubek Maniac. But it's not done until we see the magic number 10, Dito. And Ubek, you know, playing as standard as they can on this event. So KLP has to come up huge. You remember that GR side from Pacific Black. That was revenge that was consistently on the first kill off the board. KLP has to try and look for the same. But with the way Pacific Mactar are playing, it's going to be 
bit of a tougher ask from him, no? Considering just how proficient they are with these smokes. I mean, take a look at this Woods Control. How different it is uh, approach compared to Ubek Maniac. But it's still really early in the round. ZYK again on the vents. This time backed up by one player. Yeah, ZYK. In that vents position. Because they have Aldrin this time. Mm. And they have second mid control, right? So they can just pour into the A side. Or they could actually U-turn. Go into control Oi. room. And here's no. He's going to get to Justin. No one will get MBA. But is EYK going to be unexpected? KLP stuck inside of the site. Better revenge mode one as a KLP. Uh, wow. That's what they need to get into this A site. And they have control room control. Revenge is going to plant. But Loy sees wow. EYK as the smoke is dissipating. Better revenge. Better revenge. Better revenge. Better revenge. Loy wants to have a little revenge here. He Dang, does get him. Aldrin in another cut situation. And he has to take out itong si KLB muna. KLB just jump spotting. Loy knows oh. exactly where Aldrin is playing. But does he? Pili ko hindi siya umarap in time eh. No. Okay, oh, Ubek is gonna play it safe. Two-man play. Papunta sa A-side. But look at the plant. It is yeah. out in the open. So Aldrin's yeah. gonna go aggressive just for a bit though. 13 seconds. Dito sa C4. The defuse oh. is gonna be defended. Yeah. And Ubek Maniac another round on the board para sa kanila dito. Napaliit nila. Ang lead ng Pacific Bacta, it only goes down to three. Three rounds na lang dito, Seek. No luck this time for Aldrin on that 1v2 clutch. With a very smart play from Ubek, actually. I like, I like that they played together. And this is the one thing I'm noticing from Ubek, no? They love uh, the buddy system in this post plant. And they seem to be playing a lot more safe in this second map compared to the first. And it's working out. They're playing from behind, of course, playing defense. This time, they're gonna go double sniper. KLP, KLB. Extremities of the map leader. Revenge looking for his own target as the smoke dissipates. Kano? Kano. Ooh, he gets oh, taken was... down. And Revenge proper read against Kano. Yeah, I was gonna say, now's not the time to do that. Especially, you know, there's a lot of people who are going to be So you already know Revenge is gonna go for something. But JJ, wow. he just sends it through the smoke. Yeah. And he regains control of CR at the same time. Grabe naman yun. But like now... It's an attempt on the A site. KLP nasa loob. Oy! Doesn't have a rifle, but it still has a pistol. Na kuwata nga si Justin dito. JJ with the backup. KLP gets two. Obos na dito ang Pacific Park. Pero nandito pa si Aljon. Pero pati siya mahuhulog na rin. 7 to 5. Ubek Maniac playing the GR side ng sub base to perfection. Just like how I said it, they're very similar to each other. I know. And ayun na nga, maybe a bit too similar to Pacific Park. That's suffering. Dito sa kanilang BL side, cannot get around on the board. Wait lang, yung bomba, na E1. Uh, because of the amount of nades being thrown out, I think uh, Pacific Mart has enough control to get that bomb back. Uh, but uh, Ubek Maniac is starting to, be, to come online dito sneak. No, KLP, an impressive round to save it for Ubek in Pacific. As you said, nihirapan na rin sila on this blacklist side. But everything Ubek is throwing at them. This time, I'm gonna try and pivot on the other side of the map, MR, into LR, but there's still one player up above, KLB, playing from the ceiling, the cheeky angle, na gustong gustong kunin kanina ni Justin. This time, KLB playing it. And the Pacific Mountain side not to risk it. They're gonna go for the woods control again, hoping for Revenge's opening frag, but this time, no one from Ubek Maniac peeking out. <sighs> Oy, oy, oy. Yeah, everyone's playing it safe, man. I don't know, he's learned. <laughs> he knows. He knows what's going on. He's in vents, though. Pag bagula na dito si Revenge, and that could be bad news, but who the hell is in A site? Oh my Wait. god, how is Macta in A? No one saw Pacific Macta just slip by dito sa lubag. I think they were so laser focused and keeping second mid control yeah. that they kind of lost their attention dito sa A site. But I think, I think this is fine, though. As long as you have Luwag, as long as you have Sikip, pwede pa naman sila pumasok sa site. But look at Pacific Map that they're trying to regain position here. Two players on the underside ng Luwag. And oh. si Kano na bahala sa dalawang players dito. Justin nakita na ka Justin gets AJ. Oh my god! And Revenge. Revenge with the AK as well. What? And NBA gets it down. And Ubek Maniac, their attention was played dito sa A site. So much presence in second mid. But it was actually an A take. Yeah, I gotta come in revenge there. Literally 1 HP. <laughs> he still swung out from under Luwag. 
and got the kill. And again, Pacific Mark has slipped by unnoticed in that round. Lubeck Maniac, uh oh, they're starting to lo lose their grip. They lost their momentum. And they're falling behind again. Three to five, uh, three rounds behind, to be exact. And Revenge, hoping to catch Astray again. And CYK back to his comfort spot. KLP right under him. And the moment he swings out, my big disadvantage is ZYK, you know, unless he uses Util. But he's just waiting patiently for his target as ZYK is the anchor here inside of Vent. Smoke getting readied up. Revenge still at the back end of this fight. And I love the way Pacific Magda are approaching this particular round. You know? All fronts covered. And a bit of a bait and switch happening due to some my LR nade being thrown out. As a bit of false info mula kay Aldrin. As Justin fights mm. now. And uh, uh, Ubek Maniac. Uh oh, it's they're gonna have to... They're gonna have to pay for some players to A, otherwise Pacific Magda is just gonna push. Yep, and this is a nice adjustment, got a KLP. Oh. Tries to get the Lubang players, what? but Revenge, he spots what? him out to Metal Box. A site is in control of Pacific Magda. UM is stuck, grasping yeah. at straws. Dito sa laruan natin, pero di ba nila alam. There is an, an imposter na nasa loob ng vents at the moment. Revenge with an absolute heater of a throw. Shohei Otani, aka Revenge, <laughs> Loy, and KLB, the last two left alive, pero meron pa namang tao na nasa loob oh ng fence, the late gosh. push from Aldrin Revenge, he sees Loy stuck, ito sa sikip, 9 to 5, Pacific Magda looking to close out itong sub-base. Uh, back in control of this game, a 4 round lead, 1 round away from taking us to set 3, Pacific Magda looking prime to take that, wait, take lang, NBA getting chipped down. I think that's a bit of nade damage as Pacific Magda rushing into the site. JJ gonna have to receive well. Wait, take a long time on the gun. Justin finally it. works. Revenge finds one. Aldrin finds another. But Ubek down to two immediately. The pistol coming on fruit for KLB. Where is the C4? It's in the hands of Aldrin. But at least Ubek able to find the trades. A 2v2 dito, Sneak. Yeah. And this is honestly you know, the best scenario that you can come out of. In this game, no revenge in this round. That means KLP is having the sniper in his hands. But according to the kill feed, or at least the health bar, he doesn't have the sniper. Oh, but what? both of the players did not notice it. Or the Aldrin, rather, popping out of facet. KLP is going to go down. And bust it. Yeah, and, and I got to highlight the performance here of UYK. Not, not even his performance, but his looming threat in that constant uh, uh, play around that angle. But how they're going to breach through... Uh, the side here is gonna be a completely different story compared to the first two maps that we've had. And speaking of which, NBA already starting things off really explosively as not finds a kill on to Justin as well. Somehow, Loy gets taken down by the nade of Aldrin and Ubek Maniac down to three people with cannot one HP left. And he's gonna be taking down Aldrin just outside of the door. Still somehow finds impact with one HP left, but JJ shuts down MBA. And Pacific, Makta down to two. Somehow, Obek Maniac, turn things around. There we go. Still a pretty tough one, that's for sure. Pacific, Makta down to two members. Maybe getting a bit too aggressive for their liking. I mean, revenge in a 1v3. What can Oi. you do, brother? Oi, still wait. Wait, KLB is 1 HP. I think revenge can do this. M4 in hand. JJ, they're isolated for now. If uh, revenge gets a little bit faster, Dita, but doesn't look at the right angle at the right time. It's JJ to shut down revenge. That's Ubek Maniac on the board. And I think recovery on that ground. No, it, it was a little bit touch and go for a second, but that hotel control from Kano after getting chipped down to 1 HP was a big, big factor in Ubek Maniac staying alive in that round. And again, Ubek, we talk about how they love taking that mid control. Gonna be playing around Tower 2. Justin playing around the smoke. As KLP looks to find impact with the sniper. A very aggressive angle. No, this is very risky from KLP if he doesn't find a kill. But Justin just waiting around the corner. Looking to peek around the window of this hotel part. There's two players coming up from above. Aldrin, medyo malayo pa rin naman. No, Justin still plays around the second smoke. Mula dito sa Ubek Maniac. KLP gonna have to find that impact. But still, that LB control contested by both sides. 
Yeah, it was a tester round, but I was a Pacific factor going into round one, right? Just went yeah. uh, hyper aggressive, trying to test the metal dito ng Ubek if, if they expected it. But, you know, when, when you end up in a 2v3, it's not really the best use for mm. Pacific Mount, especially now you're going to have to be the one finding the members. But okay, LP punishing the hubris dito ni Aldrin. No trade para kay Justin. He doesn't want to show any information from the hotel side. Yeah. He wants them to go inside instead. Pero yeah, naman. Look at the control from Ubek, man. They're just staying. And the amount of patience that KLP has not to push up against Justin too. The trap being set up by Justin. So far they have no info, but Justin. Nakita ba siya doon ni Kano? I don't think so. But nope. you, you can see just how patient Ubek Maniac are. Still not pushing despite the fact that it's almost a guarantee that it's clear with the amount of time that si Nasok doon ni KLP. And I love it. The amount of patience that UM has might just give them... Might just pay off dividends here for them. A lot of presence towards that A site. And Pusanta and LA from up above. Revenge gonna be playing with ZYK. But the push on through with the pistol. Kano takes him down. Rubik may not gonna be able to find and hold wow. on to the site. They dismantle of that defense. And that's the second round for Ubik. Grabe. They're playing this field site perfection, but they're punishing every single thing that Pacific Mafta wants to do. And they're using the timer to further pressure it on Pacific Mafta to make a play happen in and around the map. And the rotations may be a bit too early for Pacific Mafta, but at the same time, alam na nilang papasok dito sa A site itong Ubik. Eh. So, ayun nga. No choice but to just fist fight it dito sa A, but Ubek, just as good at the game, they're also willing to play that fist fight. And they got the two point lead. Oh, Pacific Mafta. I mean, Justin is still very aggressive to hotel, but if this doesn't work, it might be high time to just go back into the sites and let YK handle Ooh. it on second mid. But KLP, that's a known angle para sa kanya dito. He played that last time where he killed it on si Aldrin, but ZYK is like, yeah, let me peek this angle too. Let me see if it works. <laughs> yeah, beautiful crosshair placement para dun. Okay, ZYK, you know, just anticipating where KLP could be. And like I said, perfectly aware of the position of the enemy sniper. Huge para dito sa Pacific Mafta, no? Huge slowdown para sa Ubek. Approaching LA again. There's two players here. And I think, yeah, Revenge making his way towards that site as well. Could be deadly para sa Ubek Maniac dito, no? Gotta utilize their utility. Full effect. Revenge coming in from up above Aldrin inside. And it's gonna be a beautiful flash from Revenge. It's alright, little by little time. Mm. But Kano gonna be shutting down Revenge with a nice shot. Swing out, Loy gonna be dealing oh with it. Lubeck Maniac dismantle Pacific Makta again. Justin, the only one left standing, coming in from the flank. And he's all alone. Yeah. Justin, the only one left alive. And once again, Ubek Maniac playing with the time pressure. And despite ZYK getting KLP down to start the ground, they're just like, all right, let's ascend it to A side, pressure to <laughs> revenge as much as possible, use the smokes, use the flashes. And they are so good. When it comes to their utility usage, pare, and I feel like tanks instill this to the players natin, mm. that yun nga, dapat dito palang sa regionals, we are now using the smart flashes, the smart nades, everything. Because pag dating sa mga international stage, you know, Chinese players have like 20 different lineups for the exact same position, pare. <laughs> so, yun nga, at least uh, he's making them learn, and it's benefiting them dito palang sa local scene natin. 3 and 0 already. For Ubek Maniac, and this is already a really good start for the BL side, right? Most yeah, teams actually it. struggle from BL, but apparently not for the UM. Yeah. UM. UM. <laughs> LPM. Ooh, Ooh, double sniper. ZYK <laughs> fights KLP from up above. Tucks out a nade for the and Kano gets <laughs> the, the wrong end of that nade. Kept down to half HP. Just like that, ZYK finds a straggler. Pacific Magda should be in a, a little bit more comfortable spot as KLB this time. Side. Has a long position to my house. And still, pretty quick enough. That's LA still in both in contest for both sides as KLB looking to weed out the revenge with a little bit of utility, a little bit of noise. Not anyone budging from Pacific Magda. They have some advantage and they have a double sniper anyway. They don't necessarily have to move anywhere. Don't have to be too aggressive as long as they keep control of both LA, LB, and that second mid spot. They should be good. That's exactly what they're doing, Dito. Yeah, and this is what's good, Banasa Ubik. Now, KLP could be out, but evident that the last round, they can kind of operate without their main sniper. And once again, they're going to group up 
Ooh. Keeps LA and Revenge does get Sika. No, but JJ, a really good long distance headshot with that M4. But MBA was testing me to some double doors, but he has to get back on the long side. KLB, a good shot on Justin. Three versus two. But Aldrin takes down CJJ and the C4 is dropped. It's a house. And uh, not what you can do, brother. There's a guy in tower. There's two dudes in mid. KLB. He's barely breathing. Hmm. I should be left. C4 in hand at least. Ayan bang itanim yung C4 dito. He's gonna go for the push instead. Gonna have to be careful of the corner to the right. I think that's NBA pushing up. No, that's DYK pushing up against him. Down in RS. And from behind, KLB will strike. Aldrin goes down. And now it's a 1v2. ZYK, MBA. Down to half HP. But you gotta remember, KLB one bullet away from biting the dust. He does it. KLB. I mean, it's a really good position. He does the stairs, but it's kind of expected that he would play that position in this 1v2. Would have rather would uh, would have rather played it on the open cable car. But go oh, KLB. Never mind. That, that slight peek nakita dito ni ZYK. And 3 to 1. Pacific Mac to get their first round. Dito sa kanilang GR side. A really good defense from Revenge getting two. And despite him dying dito sa A side, they held on. NBA, he didn't let anyone pass through dito sa mid side. So, yeah, Mac that with a, finally a round on the board, man. ZYK, that Kano is not gonna try and push up with the C4. Mm -hmm. okay, I mean, KLP is out to start the ground. And no, itong UM, no, they are not gonna pick up that sniper. Instead, it's gonna rely on these rifles to do something. Loy, trying to 1v3 the A site. Honestly, good para kay Loy. He's keeping every single member ng Makta on their toes for an eventual A take. But this could also be a mistiming para sa Makta, no? If they realize they're gonna call, oh yeah, it might be a fake sa A site. Kailangan ng lumipat ng dalawang players back to B. But. Since there is a player that is neck deep, Dito's hotel with ZYK just checking LB constantly. Di pa, di pa talaga alam dito ng, uh, ng Pacific Makta if it is gonna be a rotation just yet, but still, at least they're confirming na it's not a long push just yet. Exactly. They still have that hotel control. So important para dito sa Pacific Makta knowing that it's not gonna be a B push. The time ticking away should give them a good idea with wow. Kano going down and the push coming through from KLB. He trades it out. But Revenge still up above. Take a long KLB finds a kill, but he'll be traded out. The swing from above and Aldrin shuts down Loy. Pacific Makta. They keep a hold of Hotel. They keep a hold of the entire map sneak. Yeah, that is still a good half para sa UM in, yeah, in every facet. Dito na eagle line natin. You know, just like how I said it, man, PM. Historically struggling dito sa BL side and ng Eagle Eye statistics don't look good for their end. But let's see. I mean, Makta is a very creative team when it comes to creating solutions para sa mga problema nila dito. And uh, PM, they're gaining a bit of distance sa B side natin and it's more focusing towards that A, no? But mm. KLP, man, he's a really good A holder by himself. Pero tamang spread na muna from the side of UM. They actually are ignoring mid in its entirety. Exactly. And Loy gonna make that work. Justin gets shut down. Loy about to swing out again. But KLB on the deep corner to the right. Hotel. Uh oh, hindi oh. again. But Loy gets the trade instead. MBA. Okay lang. That KLB goes down because Loy's got that site covered. And PM, Pacific Makta, two snipers. Creating control in LA, but there's three players here. Sabi mo nga, no? Ubek, they've left mid open with three players. A heavy investment in A. And it's gonna work what? out. KLP shuts down revenge. What a peek on that sniper. And as you mentioned, KLP can hold down the side by himself. Won't even need their teammates. And so far, that's proving to be true. Aldrin trying to take control of that mid area. The moment he swings out, there's gonna be a smoke into RS. He goes, has to make a decision, makes the right one, goes into B site. But ZYK right behind, a little bit too far off as Kano shuts down Aldrin. It's all down to ZYK with the C4. Mm -hmm. ZYK. I mean, he is kind of known for the clutches, but in this situation, man, think about UM. Everyone's just playing it safe. They respect the capabilities of the uh, Aldrin of possibly clutching mga rounds. Loy just dancing around the hotel. Ui. Quick scope, not going to be there. 6 to 4, UM picking every single member ng Pacific Makta dito. They could not do anything about it, pare. Yeah. And the stark difference between their uh, BL and GR side, no, back when they went to GR, 
they completely ignored mid. <laughs> Which is uncharacteristic of UM. And it's, I guess, played the part in that round, no? Pacific Makta, unable to get the beat. Could have just taken mid. Had a little bit of an easier time pushing through. Uh, but Uwek taking the first round of the second half. Tita pushes the, ra the, the round advantage to the hotel, a big contest. Yung, yung, yung loob ng hotel, oh, hindi pa nako contest dito. With KLB praying around the bar area. The hotel exits. Lloyd's gonna be holding what? down. Gets a couple, but the nade shuts him down until KLB finds the trade. So that's three players out for the count. Para sa Pacific Max, flash is wonderful. KLB playing around the bar's tail will be taken down by ZYK. That's revenge. Providing alert assistance, Dito. No info as to his position. And Lubeck Maniac kinda have to deal with the weeds. As Revenge pushes Ooh. up. Yung nga nahanat na si Revenge. GYK again in an unwinnable spot with KLB shutting him down. Lubeck Maniac stretched the lead to three. There you go. The statistics speak for themselves, pare. Lubeck. You know, you can see the smiles, man. They can feel that the finish line it. is around the corner. <laughs> but just like how I said it, man, PM is not going to make it easy whatsoever. Revenge not going to hit the shot. But UM, it's still the exact same setup, though. It's 2B, yeah. 3A. And it's probably one player watching it. Yeah, it's probably see JJ watching all the way from house, just in case my Monko Frost leaves a bid from the side of Pacific Mafta. But PM has yet to attack the, the lack of mid control. Nang UM, I think they don't realize that yeah, they don't uh, know. Yung setup nila dito kasi hit dito sa B, eh. Yeah, realistically, there's no way of knowing talaga, ano? I mean, Ubek is a very mobile squad anyway, so ang hirap isipin na it's gonna be a 3-stack in A, a 2-stack in B with mid wide open. Which is probably the reason why Pacific Magta hasn't caught on to that strategy. And it's working wonderfully para sa Ubek dito. JJ... Providing a third layer of assistance for KLP, who is already a stronghold in this A side sniper play. The moment the smoke dissipates, is where Revenge will get his shot quite literally. Like this, no more light smoke. KLP, deep angle, but what? it's DYK to go down somehow. Remember, that's a sniper player. Loy swings out from KLP, Ooh. finds Revenge. Smoke has gone, and so has two players from PM. Flashes on through as the cart getting contested this time by Pacific Makta. Justin Ooh. finds KLB. That's gonna be a bit of side control, Dito, with one player down already on the side of Ubek Maniac. RS control contested by MBA successfully, and has two players down for the count because of that double kill. Nades come out, RS in their control. Loy just outside of RS, take a lot. MBA. Gonna peek out of there, Justin playing oh. around the cart. We'll be able to find one, but Lloyd trades it out. One HP left. Lloyd yeah. doesn't get the defuse. That's PM back on the board. Five to seven. That's the that's the hope for the best defuse then, buddy. Mm. It's like, oh, I hope they think it's a fake. So I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna hold it for now. But that's a that's a really good heads up play, no? Kind like yep. the NBA. I think RS has got to be one of the most dangerous spots. To not have control of, especially because the things about already taken him just sending it inside of there, spotting out two players with just one spray. Even though he was getting bothered by two players and Agagali needs a second mid, Loy was already on low HP because of that initial fight that he took needs a bridge. And Pacific Makta play against Marty finally around on the board para sa kanilang BL side. ZYK and Aldrin heavy damage Ooh. with that one. Look at the confidence, the Loy crouch peeking at si ZYK sends him to the next round. Mm. Hotel control. Oh, what a peek of Aldrin then shuts down KLB, expecting that bar play fully. And suddenly it's back to square one. Four versus four. Revenge again. In a triple man setup in a site. JJ back to the house spot. And still, PM this time takes control of that mid area, no, but not fully. They're not re st really still pushing up. As no gets called upon to assist Loy in B site. T4 in mid, finally. Pacific Magda, I think finally they found the read here, Sneak. Yeah, problem is, the revenge is not spotting anyone from this tower position, so I think they, they're, they're gonna assume that KLP is gonna be playing the bottom side of A. Mm. And very hard position to clear. But at the same time, a very hard position to get out of. Because mm. eh, anyway, the Bintana and or the stairs. And both of those angles, very you good. are very vulnerable on. But KLP, see what he can do. Can he stay alive? Mm. Never mind. MBA is going to take him down immediately. Meta para mantao needs a house. JJ. Eh? JJ with the kill. Okay, Justin, can he get to? Falls down. What? Doesn't fall just yet. Kano with the help. And nandito na si Loy with the flank. Eight to five. Ubek. 
it's a it's, it's like a mirror round the ginagawa yeah, ng Pacific yeah. Factor, right? Yeah. It also the flank that is winning UM these rounds, and it had to be Loy. It had to be him going for something here. Yeah, and it's not just KLP on the anchor; it's JJ as well. This time, coming up huge. Ubekleniak two rounds away. As ZYK gets chipped down to 30 HP. Napakahirap ng approach ng Pacific Makta dito. No? They finally took mid control earlier, but they still committed to that LA push. To which Ubek was completely prepared for. No? A nice hold from JJ was what made that round possible for them. Bypass control. Revenge. Looking for something. And a different passing to come on through oh. gives them that kill onto KLB. But Loy again oh, Loy! comes up huge. Buti na lang na trade ni Revenge done. So it's gonna be Pacific Makta in a 3v3. Loy, Loy has 17 frags, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what is this kid on? <laughs> oh my god, Alden gets taken nice. down. Grab it. They assume that they have hotel control right then and there. But JJ, he knew that he had to regain control of that position. Revenge. Pakakit ang sa tower. But he goes down immediately. Could have gotten it to JJ on towards that spawn side. But Zik, he's going to risk it, of course. He's a risky man, a risky player. He's going to gamble going all in. Oh, Kano. oh my god. Barely dodges you. Snipe and JJ wow. going to take down to the vent. He knows exactly where ZYK is because of those shots. KLP just going to try to help his teammate. But ZYK is lang eventually. C4 is down. Kano peeking him in bypass. 9 to 5. <laughs> Ubek Maniac. Match point against Makta. Look at KLP. He's trying yeah. to contain the smile, <laughs> Barry. Right, you can feel the excitement. You can feel the win. Certainly, can the players one round away from taking down the country's best and Ubek Maniac out to prove a point with oh KLP. My God, KLP. A nasty <laughs> shot onto ZYK. Just like that. Ubek Maniac take down one of the best players here, Pacific Makta. That was a jump peak. It's crazy. That was a jump peak, bro. I mean, the ball they didn't play in the one yon. Oh, Kano's gonna get Justin. This, this is smelling. This is smelling like a GG about it. Yeah. This, it, you can smell it. Oh, but NBA, Aldrin Revenge. I mean, the, the core three, mm. the core three in Pacific Magda. They can do it, but <laughs> Loy, no, another no, no. headshot from Loy. And it seems like it is gonna be a slow death for Pacific Magda Revenge. Na natitira. It has to be Daddy Revenge coming out on top. Tito sa laruan natin. Oh. Loy missing the shot on him. They're okay. chasing him down. Revenge is gonna get the headshot. Jay gonna get that KLP from oh. behind. And the future is now. Yeah, for sure. Nararam daman ko ngayon scream invites it from Magda. Right after this game, they're like, alright, we, we need to scream 10 games. Matik na yun. Every single map we need to play. But yeah, I mean, I'm excited for that. I, I'm excited for that Manchester versus Ubek Maniac matchup, pare. Because hey, yeah, no, the history between the teams. So obviously going to Ubek, CBN and Ba going into 